You go to the refrigerated section. That's right. They're in the refrigerated section, or you can always go online at g2gbar.com. All right, I'm going to go first. My G2G protein bar game changer from the weekend. It's actually Major League Baseball. It'll be a 1-2. Swung on a high fly to right. Soto is there. Juan Soto makes the catch. Ball game over. American League Championship Series over. Yankees win. The Yankees win. (laughs) The Yankees are going nuts on the field. I mean, they're every, it's a group hug. It's like the end of the Mary Tyler Moore show. It's a, a group hug, and they jump up and down. Terrific. Terrific. And the Yankees win. Ten seconds. They win the series four games to one. They have won seven out of nine playoff games, and they head to the World Series against either the Dodgers or the Mets. All right, of course, we know it's the Dodgers. Major League Baseball gets the dream scenario. Yankees, Dodgers. Uh, Begins on Friday. Huge win for us, the fans. Television, the advertisers, the East Coast, the West Coast time zones, the two biggest markets in the United States. It's hard to believe that it's been 43 years since these two teams have met in the World Series. You get the two biggest brands in the sport. You got Shohei Otani along with Mookie Betts against Juan uh, uh, Soto and Aaron Judge. I mean, these are the two biggest high-profile teams in baseball for the past 25, 40, 50, 60, 100 years, now they finally get to play. You look at these two franchises all time in the World Series. The Yankees have 41 appearances. The Dodgers have 26. This is arguably the best World Series Major League Baseball could have ever guessed or wanted, I should say. I mean, you even look at this matchup features three of the top four, four of the top seven, six of the top 20 players who have sold the most jerseys this year. It's it's just absolutely amazing. Of course, payrolls, we know they're giant. Um, I think this is great. If you hate the Yankees, you hate the Dodgers like I do, boy, I'm going to watch all, hopefully, seven games. All right, guys, I went to the other ballpark at Chavez Ravine for my G2G Protein Bar Game Changer of the Day. Edmund drives this ball deep left center field. Back goes Nimmo. Clean up Tommy Edmund. A two-run blast. Little man with a big impact in his first October in L.A. Tommy Edmond hit six home runs in his two months with the Dodgers this regular season. Four of them came in a two-day stretch where he was hitting cleanup. It's like he puts on this costume like all the kids are going to do during Halloween coming up here and then plays that role to perfection. That's right, Dodgers shortstop Tom Edmond, who drove in the Dodgers' first four runs in his 11 RBI in the National League Championship Series tied a franchise record set by Corey Seager back in 2020. Edmund, who won the National League Championship Series MVP award, joined the Dodgers in July trade deadline from St. Louis. Damn it. In last night's game, Edmund was two for five. Two runs scored, four RBI with the home run for this series. Edmund had many G2G protein bars as he hit 341 with a slugging percentage of 471. The little man that could. Tommy Edmond is my G2G Protein Bar Player of the Game. Well, my G2G Protein Bar Player of the Game is the Georgia Bulldogs football team. They walk into the so-called Lion's Den. They walked in to Austin, Texas, the University of Texas, the number one Longhorns waiting to pummel them. The stadium is overflowing with fans. The dogs, however, their defense held up. They helped shut down that high-flying Texas offense. Georgia's offense did have success. They went up and down the field, and they controlled the clock as well. So, with Georgia's victory, none of the college game day pundits had picked Georgia to win that game. In fact, that's all you heard was how good Texas was and how they were going to be the number one team in the country for the rest of the regular college football season. It did not happen. And with that win by Georgia, Oregon is number one in the AP poll. Georgia is now number two. The Georgia Bulldogs football team, my G2G players of the game. That's right, G2G Protein Bars. If you haven't tried them yet, you are missing out. 
They're not your average stale off the shelf protein bar. They're fantastic. Eight flavors, including my personal favorite, the peanut butter banana chocolate. How do you not like that? And what makes them so delicious is they're fresh, no preservatives, and they're stored in the refrigerator. You can pack one in for your lunch and your golf bag. Great way to get some solid protein and healthy fats into your diet. Check them out in the refrigerated section at Costco or online at their website at g2gbar.com.